Okay, my name is Bob Prudhomme. I'm an architect working on the Green Garage, and uh, we've been working in the passive energy or the zero energy design group for the past couple of weeks. And where we've got to is floor systems, wall systems last week, and then this week, and I'm going to take you over to the table when I'm done talking about these the roof system and what the impetus has been has been the connections where the floor meets the wall where the wall meets the roof how do we maintain our complete building envelope how do we keep the thermal bridging from occurring and keep the thermal break and, and maintain a high performance envelope and we saw that on the floor system to the wall system by bringing our foam insulation underneath the wall. This is the existing brick, I don't know if you can see that, but the existing brick masonry wall. And then inside of that we've got a two inch air gap and then we have two inches of rigid insulation. We have approximately eight inches of blown in insulation and we're contemplating the possibility of a PEX tubing as part of the geothermal radiant loop. Uh, Obviously it will be in the floor, but it may go up some portion of the, of the wall. We haven't determined that yet. Um, by carrying this underneath this new cavity wall system that we're creating, we, we, we make a complete seal here. And then of course we have to deal with getting moisture out of here. We've modeled this on Woofy software so that um, we're looking at the amount of moisture that we have to contend with and we're getting it down and working it down. Now having said that, that's the floor to the wall. Then we decided where the wall goes up and meets the existing roof, we want to try to cut through the existing 2x6 decking and marry it to the structural insulated panel or SIPs that we're considering for formulating the thermal envelope on the roof system. And I'll take you over to the table and show you that.